Jim, you've come to the University of Huddersfield today to talk to us about quantum biology, but I'd just like you to look at life as a physicist for a moment, and in particular the idea that thorium should be considered as an alternative to uranium in producing nuclear energy. What are your thoughts on that? Well, having come here to talk about quantum biology, I should confess that my main research area is nuclear physics. So I'm a nuclear physicist, but an academic nuclear physicist. So I understand the science that goes into uh, nuclear power. And thorium as a fuel, I think, is tremendously exciting. Now, you know, I'm not an expert in nuclear power, but I can see the advantages that thorium has over uranium. It's cheaper, it's more abundant, the technology is there, that's what's so, so, so wonderful. The technology has been around ever since the early days of nuclear power in the 1940s. And yet, governments, particularly in the US, move towards uranium, mainly driven by the need for plutonium for the arms race. Thorium isn't dirty like uranium, it doesn't produce weapons grade plutonium. So it really answers many of the questions and concerns that the public have about nuclear power. So I would really be very much in favour uh, uh, in pushing the, the idea that thorium should replace uranium in future nuclear power reactors. Would that be a huge undertaking to change the one to the other? To some extent, the nuclear industry will say yes, it is, because they have their nuclear reactors and the technology is set up to process uranium fuel. But many countries are moving down the thorium road. India and China have well advanced plans for building thorium reactors. Even some countries in the Middle East that, that have a lot of oil are thinking far enough ahead that you know, they may want to move towards thorium. So I think it's not a mere academic's dream. This is really something taken seriously by many countries. And I think as far as the UK is concerned, what it would address is this public worry because thorium also doesn't produce as much nuclear waste as uranium. And that's usually what really concerns people. You know, it's all very well building nuclear power reactors, but what do you do with the waste? I think it, thorium would go a long way in terms of um, helping public acceptability of nuclear power. So I don't think it's really such a crazy idea. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.